Nurse and Care, Catherine Kalkaba's Comfort Theory Introduction to the Nursing Theorist Catherine Kalkaba was born in 1944 in Cleveland, Ohio. She received a nursing diploma from the School of Nursing at St. Luke's Hospital. She is currently working as an associate professor of nursing at the University of Akron. Kalkaba received numerous awards, among which is Cushing Rob Award for Outstanding Work. In the 1990s she developed a comfort theory designed for education, research, and nursing practice. Classification of the Theory A comfort theory is a middle-range theory, which is defined as an intermediate theory. It occurs due to the researcher's need for creating a hypothesis that can explain all notions of organization, behavior, and social changes. It links empirical and theoretical knowledge and is also related to a set of ideas that describe specific aspects of the phenomenon. The theory has three types, explanatory, descriptive, and predictive. Despite its usefulness, the development of middle-range theory is limited. Understanding the Outcomes of the Comfort Theory There are two basic assumptions of comfort theory. The first one implies that people give holistic responses to compound stimuli. For example, people generally feel positive if they receive muscle relaxation. The second and third assumptions are that people give holistic responses to compound stimuli, and comfort is desirable in nursing. To understand the outcomes of comfort, researchers' outcomes require an interactional approach because the interventions enhancing one aspect also enhance another. Concepts of Comfort Theory The comfort theory is a descriptive and normative theory for nursing practice that explains the needs that result in negative tension and occur from the stimulus situations. Negative tension is an imbalance in facilitating and obstructing forces. The theory implies interventions move tension in a positive direction, after which nurses judge whether the comfort needs were met so that they are responsible for facilitating comfort outcomes. Components of Comfort Theory The comfort theory includes three components, relief, ease, and transcendence. Relief requires recognition of specific discomfort. Treating headaches in patients is an example of relief. Ease is a positive state of contentment and calm. When people are at ease, they are at peace. Transcendence is the ability to overcome circumstances. Working through grief is an example of transcendence. These components can exist independently or together, depending on personal circumstances. Application of Comfort Theory The comfort theory is used in end-of-life care and intensive care units for neonates where nurses consider the comfort needs of neonates and families. The theory states that every newborn is unique, and it provides a clear structure of nursing care. This means that it allows for organizational work that aims not only to treat patients but also to make them feel comfortable. The theory implies the development of a string neonate-nurse-family relationship to fulfill their comfort needs. The comfort theory can be applied in training given to patients with hemodialysis. The results of the study have shown that training increased patients' comfort, fulfilling their comfort needs. Training that is conducted according to the comfort theory affects a patient's well-being by easing diet and weight control. It also implies increased scores of relief, ease, and transcendence. The theory can also be applied in pediatric primary palliative care. It implies meeting the comfort needs of children with serious illnesses. Comfort interventions are aimed at comfort components. The theory also aims to analyze demographic components such as age, gender, and diagnosis and implies meeting psycho-spiritual, physical, and environmental comfort needs. Implications for Nursing Research The comfort theory can advance nursing practice because it has greater explanatory power than other theories so that it can explain different diseases. It has a high degree of testability and is easily predictable, which can be useful in generating hypotheses. It is useful for clinical practice, as can be observed in the therapeutic context. The theory allows for drawing multiple relationships between single concepts and utilizes terms relevant to nursing practice. Conclusion Comfort Theory, designed by Catherine Kalkaba, guides nursing care. It is classified as a middle-range theory, which links empirical and theoretical knowledge. The theory has three components, relief, ease, 
and transcendence. It can be applied in multiple conditions such as training for hemodialysis patients, neonates care, and care after children with serious illnesses. The comfort theory is of higher importance for nursing practice because it has great explanatory power, a high degree of testability, and is relevant to the nursing field.